weil ich wollte mich an die US-Regierung wenden. Ich hoffe, ihr könnt mich folgen. Ich bin ganz, ganz herzlich, ganz dankbar, dass ihr alle hier seid heute. Es ist ganz wichtig, auch für Bradley Manning. Weltweit werden Kundgebungen äh, veranstaltet. Es ist ganz wichtig, dass er weiß, dass er weltweit die Leute haben ihn in ihr Herzen eingeschlossen und wir werden ihn nicht vergessen. Wir werden alles tun, um seine Freisprechung zu bewirken. Irgendwie. Dankeschön. This is not the Dreyfus affair. This is the case of Bradley Manning. It is a travesty of justice and the military judge refused to dismiss the most serious charge against Private Manning, aiding and abetting the enemy for having blown the whistle on war crimes. We thank Bradley Manning for telling us what happened in Gitmo, what happened in Afghanistan, what happened in Iraq and the diplomatic cables. or hyperlink to the internet, you could be aiding the enemy and it's your neck that is next. We won't stand for this. This is an absolute Notstand. We have to go out and make sure that our constitutional rights are restored. This is an emergency. No case has ever been prosecuted under this type of theory that an individual, by giving information to a journalistic organization, would be subjected to 104 offense of aiding the enemy. The military prosecutor said Manning ultimately knew that he provided to WikiLeaks would make its way to the enemy because he knew the enemy used the WikiLeaks and used the internet. What an absurd logic. We all use the internet. That means we're all the enemy. So we're all Bradley Manning, aren't we? Right? Right. Association of Scientists gave Edward Snowden this week a prize for the whistleblowing prize in Germany and they follow four basic criteria Sorry. Um, by revealing the wrongdoing one by having alarmed the public with disclosures two by having served the public interest and not for their own profit or gain and by risking retaliation these two brave young are risking their lives for humanity disruption with an uh, act of civil disobedience, uh, disrupting a system which has lost all legal, moral, legitimacy and report, purports to be above the law. These acts of civil disobedience are a legitimate form of protest because it should disrupt the normal functioning of a dysfunctional political system that endorses extrajudicial killings, the reversal of habeas corpus, of due process, of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, as well as the laws of sovereign countries. In other words, the protest is appropriate because it should disrupt a system, a dysfunctional political system. traitor. He has spoken truth to power and that's why we're all here today. World 
Uruguay. We are very thankful for their sacrifice. The U.S. government is violating the fourth, the fifth, the eighth amendments to the constitutions, the press freedoms. Everyone is now aiding the enemy and committing acts of treason and being uh, charged with um, the Espionage Act. A two-time Pulitzer Prize winner, James Risen, has to uh, give his sources and in front of court, unheard of, unheard of in our history. <coughs> These rulings by the FISA court, secret courts, disrupt and corrupt the most basic notions of justice. Thank you. It destroys the essence and destroys the essence and spirit of confidential communications for citizens everywhere. Justice must be seen to be done, and it's immoral. the immoral cannot be made moral through the use of secret law. I think my voice is failing now. Oh, the microphone as well. What happened to Mike? Mr. Snowden or Bradley Manning as a whistleblower and claims that they have broken the law of the United States. The more I read the cables, he said, Bradley Manning, the more I came to the conclusion that this type of information should become public. We should be the judges of who broke the law. against tyranny that is upon us. This is a government that kills U.S. citizens without a warrant or trial, has declared the right to indefinitely detain anyone without a warrant or a trial. It organizes a state of virtual military siege against the population of Boston. It violated the Miranda rights. It has placed Snowden on a no-fly list. It has demanded Hong Kong return Snowden outside its framework of law. The U.S. has threatened with all sanctions to all countries who stand up for human rights and they do not respect the U.N. asylum guarantees for political refugees. It even undertook, exactly, it undertook the <coughs> unprecedented step of ordering military allies to ground a Latin American president's plane in search of a political refugee. It has set out an illegal international witch hunt to prevent Snowden from seeking asylum. It wants to silence Snowden by whatever means necessary and we're not going to let them. Yes. but they have also taught us that we need to task our governance to enforce them because they have been supremely violated. They are massively violated and forfeited because but we are the people. We have to hold them into account. This is a great era of rediscovering democracy and social values and civic duties. I invite you all, go out and task your government. Ask them, what is this? This is just an unacceptable condition. It changes the way we define ourselves as a political culture, as a community of nations, or as human beings. As members of civil society, we need this disruption in order to task our governments to uphold the law. And then so be it. May a new era of enlightenment 2.0 begin. Solidarity worldwide.
privacy, of freedom of information, of expression, of access, of self-determination of personal data, of openness, as well as the free flow of information, and build societies that we envision to live in in the future. And please, let's do all we can for Bradley Manning. Thank you very much. So, jetzt kommt erstmal Dorothea der Bruno Gramm, Musik am Pirat, der muss nämlich dann zu seiner Tochter. Und danach äh, die Uta Körberleg, Musikerin und Kabarettistin. Ja, zuerst einmal ein, ein riesen Dankeschön.